what's up you guys welcome back to the channel and if you are new here please be sure to subscribe make sure you guys like the video and comment down below just want to let you guys hear Armand give his take on what made him in official king pain get to the point of where they are now and hear my take on things from a subscriber standpoint and just being a person who's been through a similar situation so i'm gonna jump right into it guys here it is and that's the problem see what doesn't get said was on that live stream he had a panel full of people dragging me because I didn't mention his name in the Storm Monroe interview. That was not my job to mention his name in the Storm Monroe interview. I'm not making my interview with Storm Monroe, him apologizing to me about you. I'm not bringing him up, but I'm also not going to let Storm Monroe disrespect you. I'm not going to bring a panel on my channel to disrespect you. I'm not going to let callers come on my channel and disrespect you. Still haven't done it to this day. I didn't go to Storm Monroe's house in Atlanta and disrespect you. I didn't see Storm Monroe in LA and even talk about you because I'm not on that type of time. However, you, on your platform that day, I popped over there and I got on when I got mad because Tasha K was on there. Yes, it was bizarre to me that you were on the phone with Tasha K. But that wasn't the issue. The issue was, and this is where I get frustrated because he never tells the full story. The issue was, first of all, you had everybody up there dragging me like I was a bad friend and you didn't have my back. And then you had Tasha K's bitch ass herself up there saying, you have no loyalty to King. You did this to King. Why would you do this to King? You're a fake ass friend. And while you didn't drag me, you sat there and you let them people put that out. So it wasn't I was mad that you were on live with Tasha K. It was the fact that you were letting outsiders do your dirty work. Basically, you were letting them talk shit to me and about me but I'm supposed to be your friend. But that made me feel like, oh, girl, this is what you want to say. And so you letting these weird bitches sit up here and conversate about me. So that was the end for me. Because my friends, I don't give a fuck. Ain't no bit. I'm not curating a space. I'm going to say this again. I don't curate a space where an oppy-ass bitch feel like they could check my friend. Or they can talk shit about my friend in my house. That's weird. It's already weird enough that you're getting cozy with the bitch. But now the bitch feel comfortable enough to talk shit about me in your house? And you sitting right there and say nothing? Then you get on your platform and say, well, I can't control Tasha K clicking the link. Baby, it wasn't about Tasha K clicking the link. It was about Tasha K clicking the link and all five or six of your panel members having a time on my name and you not defending me. You let it ride. Yeah, you didn't talk shit back, but you sat up there and you let them wear me out. You let them call me selfish. You let them say I was jealous of you. You let them say I had no loyalty to you. You let them say I was envious of you. You let these narratives be out there like somehow I'm intimidated by your success. You let people say shit like that in your presence about me, your friend. I don't fuck with bitches like that. Let's be very clear. I don't fuck with bitches like that at all. I don't fuck with bitches like that at all. And I reserve the motherfucking right. And any bitch that don't understand that, I don't give a fuck. So y'all can go and take this, twist this, make this like I'm a narcissist. Fuck you, bitch. I don't care. I don't fuck with bitches that will sit online and let 
oppy ass bitches sit up and disgust me because I'm not ever in a space, even today, going to sit up here and have a drag session with Storm fucking Monroe about you. Never going to do it. Never did it. And I'm never going to make a bitch. And I'm never going to have a panel. A bitch is feel like it, feeling like they can drag you. That was the first time. And that's when I was like, okay, I don't like this. This is weird. And so what ended up happening was I wanted to have a conversation. I said, okay, well, let's come on my show. I want to have a conversation about friendship. And then we had got into it about that because he was like, oh, I don't want to get into the conversation, but we didn't end up doing it. The point was, People were making it seem like I was a bad friend to him because I didn't mention Storm Monroe or I interviewed Storm Monroe. And so this is where I want you guys to really listen because this is where I began to be frustrated. And even on that live last night, nobody got it. And this is where I get frustrated with all these people. And this is why I'm leaving it alone after this because I understand what position I'm in and it doesn't matter how slow I talk how fast I talk, how well I articulate my point. P there's people out there that just don't like me that are just going to twist what I say. I am Armand Wiggins. I have 166,000 subscribers. Uh, you know, in certain spaces, I'm considered a larger popular YouTuber. So I wouldn't be considered the underdog. So guess what? I get to be the narcissist, I get to be self-absorbed and an inflated sense of self. And I am obligated to build my platform to help everybody under me. And if, I, and if their platform doesn't grow to a certain magnitude, it's my fault. If I don't allow them to use me, it's my fault. And watch this. If I don't allow them to befriend and align themselves with everybody who hates me because they're just trying to grow their channel, I'm the bad guy. As if there's not 7 billion people in the world. And why do you have to use my enemies to be your allies. How are you my friend and you find allegiance with people that hate me? Let me make it slow. Let me, let me break it down. So when I first interviewed Storm Monroe, People were upset, right? Then last night he went on his live channel and was visibly feeling some type of way because me and Storm Monroe were in LA and we've linked up. We're cool. Like we have a rapport. We ain't best friends. You know, we don't talk every day, but we don't have a problem with each other. And again, which was almost, I mean, gagged me. I mean, it, it, all it took was for him to post a picture of me and Storm Monroe. And that chat quickly turned, and it looked like something on The Wiley Show. Armand is trash. Armand's a narcissist. Armand is this. Armand is that. And then they all got pulled up on the platform, and they just drug me, drug me, drug me. It was like, well, that didn't take long. You So I was right. You welcome that kind of energy towards me. You welcome a weird, oppy-ass, hater-ass energy. It wasn't like, no, I can't believe it. No, be cool. It was like, yes, finally, now we can all talk shit. And it was welcomed. But Here's what everybody didn't say. And this is the only reason why I'm doing it. 
oh, Armand went and linked up with him. Armand is jealous. Armand is this. Armand is that. But what he didn't say is, it's never any fun when the rabbit has the gun. See, it's all okay when everybody does weird shit to Armand. But Armand can't do anything because, why? Well, I have the bigger platform. The fuck? So, let's take, a let's take a trip down memory lane. This might be some stuff y'all don't even know. King Payne. Jay Wilson comes out messy as fuck. If you guys don't know Jay Wilson, Jay Wilson is part of the beef sector. Messy as fuck. Dragging me. Spilling tea. Oh. King Payne, you find yourself having to do the gentleman's panel with Jay Wilson. I'm like, oh, okay. Here we go. Same guy, same reason we, me and Wiley fell out. Because Wiley, Mona Simone, Jay Wilson, they all dragged me. And Wiley just had to go interview and interview with them. I don't like, that's weird. Like, why do you have to go there? Why can't you find any other creator? Why do you have to find people dragging me to align with? I don't like that. Like, I don't do that. So, boom. You do the gentleman's panel, I pay it. I'm like, okay. Whatever. During this time, there, there's another time, me and Nika and I wasn't seeing eye to eye. Some, she was on some weird shit. I felt like she was on some weird shit. And I'm like, girl, you will be on some weird shit. And I told him, I'm like, she's on some weird shit. Oh, he has to run and be friends with Nika at night. There he, oh, I'm friend. I'm like, oh, okay, girl. She just, okay. So it's giving everybody I don't like. Okay, boom. Then you want to talk about loyalty. Jaguar Wright. Jaguar Wright literally called me all kind of faggots, getting fucked in my ass. Literally, literally want to talk. No, and there's no shade to Storm because that's my guy. Half the reason why Storm Monroe got the followers he had was out of spite. Jaguar, people were, Jaguar Wright was literally moving out of spite. I made Jaguar Wright relevant on YouTube. And to spite me, she went and was, every time I would talk about her, she would go interview with Storm Monroe. And yet now you're running to Vegas and you got to be friends with Jaguar, right? And you and I'm calling you like, what, what, what's up? Why you got to be, what, you so chummy chummy with Jaguar? Oh, I'm just trying to grow my channel. Oh, I'm just trying to grow my channel. She's just helping me. I'm trying to grow my channel. And, you know, she's cool. She's not that bad. I'm, we're going to Vegas. Bitch, you weird. Like, you always running up under a bitch that always do some weird shit to me. Like, now you, now, like, now you, now you hella chummy chummy with Jaguar, right? What? I'm just trying to grow my channel. She's cool. Da -da. Okay. Now it's Tasha K. Oh, you know, now, 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 now you live for Tasha K. And I don't play those Tasha K games. That was it for me. And you got Tasha K so comfortable. She feel like she could talk shit to me on your platform. And tell me about what kind of friend I am to you. Tasha K is telling you, King Payne, how what kind of friend I am to you. You are letting Tasha K, Tasha motherfucking K, tell me what kind of friend I am to you. Bitch, I don't fuck with you. The fuck? And any bitch that don't understand that can suck my dick. I don't fuck with no weird ass. Bitch like that. I don't give a fuck. So then let's 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 keep going. Let's not act like now all of a sudden you don't have a picture of you and Jason Lee being petty pinned to the top of your fucking Instagram profile. You now, you make it your business to attend Jason Lee events on some oppy ass, weird ass, hater ass shit. And shouting Jason Lee out, but you mad? But, but you don't see none of that. But you mad? Or you now, but, but you got your people over there talking shit because I ran into Storm Monroe in LA? But, bitch, I just ran through a whole timeline of weird-ass bitches that are just, you have to be cool with. 
But it's all good when you do it, right? Because you just got to grow your channel. And I'm just supposed to accept it. Because I'm the narcissist. And let's talk about my inflated, and this is another reason, with this inflated sense of self. Oh, yeah, I'm on my fuck it, bitch. I'm not nice. With my, un uh, with my inflated sense of self. Did I have an inflated sense of self when I begged you to get on fucking YouTube? Begged you. Did I have an inflated sense of self when I helped you audition for fucking chasing reality? Did I have an inflated sense of self when Toxic Diamond striked your channel and me, Armand, the narcissist, I gave you the code that I paid for. Not you. I gave you the code that I paid for out of my pocket to dispute that copyright claim and got your channel back. But see, she don't tell those girls that on her channel. You'll never know that. You'll never know that I gave her, I gave her the information to get her channel back so she can keep growing. You'll never know that I'm the, she did the audition at fucking chasing at my house. You'll never know that I was fucking begging her to get on YouTube. Bitch, I can't fucking make your fucking channel. But what you will know is, oh, he got mad because I had Tasha K on my platform. Oh, he got mad because Tasha K clicked the link. Oh, Armand, and, and what, what, what we, Willie will, will allow is everybody making it seem like I was just such a bad friend and I'm just so fucking jealous because he's growing. I don't give a fuck about that. And so this is why I don't fuck with YouTubers and I'm done with it. I'm not fucking with none of y'all at all. I don't have no friends on YouTube. And the fact that I'm even having to do this is the reason why I'm not fucking with you. I don't do this shit online with people in my real life. This is late. But I, but the lucky for you, I knew you would be the one to bring me here. So I'm not surprised. I knew you were going to be the one because that's just what you give. But it's not going to destroy me. So, bitch, have at it, girl. But keep it cute because, bitch, you know where I live. So you can have fun to try to grow your channel. It's very given, very wily. So if that's what you want, girl, I'm not even finna. I'm not going to go there. Um, but like I said, I'm not going to play these games on the internet. Um, so I'm saying that to say, I hope I talk slow enough but I just think that it's crazy that everybody can walk all over me and I'm supposed to be a doormat because this person has to grow their channel. That person has to grow their channel. No one has to be loyal to me, but I got to be loyal to everybody else. I got to share everybody's shit. I got to put everybody on. I got to pay everybody. I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to shout bitches out. I got to bring them on my show. I got to do all of this. But a bitch don't have to do show no respect for me because they got to grow their channel. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. I don't know what world y'all motherfuckers live in, but not mine. I'm not fucking crazy, bitch. Am I perfect? No. But what we're not going to do is act like even yet until to this point, I've never cultivated a space. You literally cultivated a space. He wasn't dragging me, but you cultivated a space where bitches feel comfortable dragging me. 
You got bitches on the internet that don't even show their motherfucking face telling me what kind of friend I am to you. Bitch, I don't fuck with you. Can't no bitch on the internet tell me about my friend in real life. And if a bitch can do that, you're not my motherfucking friend. The fuck? Okay, Tasha K, Storm Monroe, bitch, I, you're going to let Tasha K tell me, tell me, tell me about what kind of friend I am to you, and you're going to let that shit ride? Bitch, what, the only thing I could think of is, bitch, you a hater. It's some, you can't take me, bitch, and you want bitches to drag me. You want bitches to, you want me to look like a bad guy. You want bitches to feel like I'm a bad person. You want me to be shown in that motherfucking light. You want bitches to think I'm jealous of you. You want bitches to think I'm a narcissist. You want bitches to think I'm self. You want me to fail, bitch, and newsflash. I'm not. It's never going to happen, bitch. So you can join the fucking Wiley Club, bitch. And you bitches can stay looking up. Now, all you bitches can be bitches that, that used to know Armand, bitch. How about that? And be mad about it. Y'all got me fucked up. I'm dead ass done with it because it, it's, it's crazy to me. So, bitch, you can, all y'all can go over there, bitch. And be mad and push the narratives. I don't give a fuck. Just keep it cute. Because, bitch, I know you in real life. So don't play with me. Um, I'm like I said, I'm going to say it again. I'm not doing no internet shit with no bitch I know in real life. And that's on God. That's on my little brother, bitch. I mean that. So, guys. That was some of the audio from Armand basically just letting loose on how he feels about what has been going on lately between him and official King Payne. Now, these two have been friends for years and outside of YouTube. So when it comes to these two having issues with each other, to me, I'm more interested in, you know, what their situation is as opposed to other people because these are people who know each other in real life. So you know that it's deeper than some YouTube stuff. So King Payne, with him, ever since he decided that he felt like Armand betrayed him, Armand is now cool with Storm, um, you know, and on top of Armand still having like some type of relationship, friendship with Larry Reed, he has just been pretty much more and more letting it be known that he don't mess with Armand and that he feels like Armand has betrayed him. And I, I gotta say, even last night when I watched some of Official Campaign's live, I had to click out. I'm not gonna lie, I had to check out because it just, it was just giving really messy. It gave, okay, girl, like, when are you going to stop? Now, I understand that the, that both of them have came for each other's necks. Yep, it's, it's been a lot of shade being thrown. But I just felt like it was like a whole, I'm going to make you content type of vibe going now. And I don't really like that because I feel like, even when you get into it with somebody who you've been good friends with and y'all fall out and y'all both just start to feel like, okay, you fake, you fake. It's still just certain things that should not be done. And I can actually speak on that because I myself has, have fallen out with somebody who was really, really, really close to me. A real, real close friend. And the reason why, I never cared to mend things, patch things up, try to work on things. And I was really done was because they did what King Payne started to do. He started to move funny. The internet stuff that went on, I wasn't feeling it. 
it went too far. And the whole time I was sitting back, you know, watching it, peeping it, people bringing it up to me. But I'm the type of person where I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Or even if I agree with them, like, yeah, that is kind of being funny to me. I'm going to wait until you literally come to me about it. But if you didn't already did oppy stuff, you already let me know what it is and, and how you get down. And so I can't rock with you, especially when you bring it to the Internet for other people to chime in on and talk about and you're doing too much. And so I, I feel where our mind is coming from with, with this, because <laughs> you start to reflect on things and you're like, wait, 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 you're trying to say I betrayed you because of what? Let me go down memory lane and remind you of the times where you have done things that I could have looked at as, okay, you clearly fake. I don't need to mess with you. So that's why he, he brought up great points. He brought up some really good points to me with the whole thing of, okay, you besties, you rocked with, did shows with, kikied with people who I don't mess with. But we still was fr- we still was friends. I let you know how I felt about it, but you know, I let you do you until I realized like, okay, you really don't mess with me like that. It's giving frenemy vibes. It's giving I don't know. Like are is it just about you trying to build your bag or what? You know, so I just feel like <laughs> I'm not going to go on a whole rant about it, but I feel like, yeah, while you want to paint the picture that Armand has betrayed you, he can bring up things, too, to where it doesn't make you look like you're that great of a friend either. As y'all heard him point out some good points. So even if you on one person's side over the other, it's not rocket science to figure out that both of them are clearly hurt by actions. And as far as the Storm on Roll thing goes, again, I gotta I gotta rock with Armand with what he said. It's not a teaming up thing, but it's it's about what he said. It made sense. And because I said this to myself. I watch all of them, okay? Armand only sat with him <laughs> to discuss his issue with storm he sat down with storm to discuss his issue uh with storm they didn't talk about you that wasn't about you and i know some people felt like oh well king Payne. he he said that he only had an issue with storm because of armand he, he armand made him be for storm uh I, I would have to question that just because okay i'm pretty sure him being friends with Armand, Armand has mentioned to him like, yeah, I don't mess with Storm because Storm was over there with Tasha K and Tasha K was literally paying him, hyping him up to go at it with him. So I don't put it past Armand that he did probably say like, yeah, girl, I don't mess with her. But at the same time, King Pain, you know, like every other mature adult knows that you can say like, oh, okay, well, if they don't mess with my friend, I don't mess with them. But you don't have to make a beef with them. Okay? So that's what I would have to say to that. Uh, as far as the Jaguar right thing, Tasha K thing, like things went really, 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 really bad between Armand and those people. So I can understand why he's looking like, yeah, that's weird. And then, again, you on your channel bringing all these people up, letting them talk crazy about me. And I'm not supposed to feel away. It's it's just been a lot of funny moving going on. Um, again, I'm not, I'm not taking sides, but I gotta be honest. I feel like King, I'm, I'm just speaking from a standpoint of, look, if you decide you don't want to rock with me for whatever reason, don't start doing the most. Don't. Don't start doing the most and literally trying to play victim as if I've just done you so bad and trying to smear my name. 
again, I, I, I feel for our mind on that because I've been there, done that. And people will do it to you. The people who you supposed to be so close to, you know, who know your address, know where you, you know, like y'all, y'all tight. Okay. Like he said, I'm not about to beef with somebody on the internet who I know in real life. Period. And that was how I was. I was like, oh no, we're not doing that back and forth. Because it was after that that friend of mine that I'm no longer friends with, it was after they had started doing little weird stuff, shady stuff, that they decided to personally address me. And and by then I'm like, nah, <laughs> no, nah, baby, no. Nah. You already been showing how you really feel. So this whole thing is a mess. It's been a mess. Um, you know, and I like how Armand really, 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 really stressed the fact that it's not about him. It's not even just about what he's doing now, like with how he's linking up with Jason Lee and all of this and that. It's the fact that he's been doing things that have already been questionable, but he let it ride but he gave him the benefit of the doubt. Again, how many of us have been through that before? Where people have done things or been around people who they know, like, you know, mess with, or they done like some questionable stuff, but you just kind of like, eh, mm, okay, I'm going to express how I feel about that, but I'm going to let it go. But then they just continue to do things that let you know, like, okay, I don't know how this person really feel about me. But you guys, I'm not on either person's side. Like, I'm, I'm not with the side taking things. I just, I really agree with a lot of his points. And I get how that can feel to feel like you're that person who always have to take the high road. And you shouldn't speak on that because then it's going to make you look bad. This is that when it's like, nah, y'all having a whole drag fest on me. And it gets tiring. And a lot of people, let's be real. A lot of people have made Armand their content. Period. So I don't blame him for looking at King like, okay, you've done this multiple times now. Are you turning into Wiley? Because we know how Wiley get down. Are you turning into him? Are you turning into a troll? And why does it have to be when you decide you're not messing with somebody no more, especially on YouTube, I see that it has to be a whole drag out battle every day. I'm making you my content thing. Like that's just, it's lame to me. And it gets tired really fast. It does. So yeah, you guys, you guys let me know what y'all think about this down below in the comments. Be sure to like the video. I'm not posting this to be messy, to take a side just felt like the conversation was really good and a lot of us can relate to it whether we have been through a situation like this before or something similar or we witnessed it and then a lot of people view these people we a lot of people support them these are people i'm talking about people who have Armand has over a hundred thousand subscribers king pain has what almost twenty thousand subscribers they got a lot of support. They both do their thing. Okay. So, um, a lot of, you know, I bring that up to, to let it be known that a lot of people watch and listen to them. And so it's hard to watch without having some type of opinion about it. Um, you know, for those who feel like Armand is wrong and he did King Payne wrong and he's a narcissist and he think he's better than everybody. Y'all gonna feel how y'all gonna feel. Um, same thing with um, people who feel how they feel about King Pain, you know, being some sort of clout chaser or, you know, a person who links with the ops all the time or does anything to get a click and a view. Like, it's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Let me know what y'all think down below in the comments. Let's talk about it. Let's discuss it. Again, these are people who I watch and listen to all the time. So it's just like... Yeah, sometimes you get to watch real life play out in front of you. Everything is not always just fake YouTube content. This is like real, this is real issues between people who really had a relationship outside of YouTube. So 
y'all let me know what y'all think i'm not biased in this situation at all i know a lot of y'all will go and listen to other people who are going to be completely biased and to each his own but if you wanted to hear a non-biased standpoint um i think that listening to me would be a good idea <laughs> shameless plug but nah, y'all um let me know how y'all feel and i'll talk to y'all later bye